Hello and welcome to the fourth video of our end engine series. In this video we are going to create a sprite, which is basically an image that we can move and interact with. This video will be quite short, so... First of all we're going to start by creating something, call something called a bitmap texture atlas. Basically it is an object that will hold all of our images in our game. In order to create a bitmap texture action, bitmap texture atlas, we create private bitmap texture atlas, and then the name of our atlas, which is going to be our atlas. Just a capital A, and then import the necessary object. If we make it into a private, it will only be accessible inside our main activity class file and for now we want that and now we need some kind of sprite for our sorry, some kind of image for our sprite in order to create us an image we're going to use private texture region creating a texture region object and our let's say we make a circle our circle Just going to import texture region. Now we're going to go into the method protect, protected void on create resources. And this part of our in this method we are going to actually initialize our objects, for example our images, our sprites, and etc. So what we're going to do is that we what we're going to do is that we are actually going to set our create sorry we're going to initialize our bitmap texture atlas so our atlas equals to new bitmap texture atlas and then we need to f fit in our in this fill in our parameters so type in this dot get texture manager and the next two parameters will be the size of our atlas remember it has to contain all of your images so if you have for example four images that are 64 by 64 in the size you would want to have an atlas that is at least 128 wide and high we're just gonna keep it at somewhat high level even though we won't use many sprites just in case you never know so now we have initialized our atlas what we're going to, going to do next is that we're going to load an image to our circle or our texture region. Step our circle new texture region. Sorry, sorry. Equal to bitmap texture atlas texture region factory dot get dot create from asset. And we're going to create our Im image from our atlas. And we're going to type in this here, and then we're going to type in the path file for our for our circle. So we're going to name it, name it gfx. Put it in the gfx folder, and then circle dot png. And we're going to place it at the position o o in our atlas. I will talk about that more uh, later as we have more images. Our circle sorry, capital A our text region, our our circle the last thing we need to do is that we're going to do m engine dot get texture manager dot load dot load texture our atlas which is basically going to load up our atlas now we're going going to create a, a sprite in order to do this we are going to create a an variable called sprite and then name it to circle that's going to import the sprite object 
Now in the create resources, sorry, on create scene, we're going to do this. We're going to set circle equal to new sprite. And then we're going to fill in our parameters, for example, you can just scroll down here in order to see your options. You're gonna going to use float, float i texture region, i sprite vertex buffer object. The floats, first two parameters are the position of our sprite, so we're going to place it at 32x and 42y. And the third parameter is our tex texture region, which is going to be our circle. So that is uh, the actual image. And our vertex buffer object manager is just going to be this dot get vertex buffer object manager. Now we have created our sprite. Now all we need to do is we need to add it to our scene. Otherwise it won't show up because it hasn't actually been drawn. So what you want to do is you want to type in the name of your scene, which in this case is mscene dot attach child and then type in our object circle. Now there is only one more problem, we need to draw a sprite for our circle. Just gonna do that really fast. Just go down to the folder of your project, assets and then GFX. Oh. Well, already had some images there. We're just gonna do a circle. There we go. Before you start your project, make sure that you have actually linked all the libraries correctly. Just go into properties of your project and then go to Android and as you can see, mine is bugged. So we're going to import and engine and fix it. And I'm going to try and run the game. Since I can't run Endengine on my computer, I'm running it on my Android phone. But I got a program that will sh display what I'm running on my phone. It's called Dry Red Screen. The only bad thing is that it kinda lags, but as long as we don't move anything, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna see here. Everything works, as you can see. We have an image over here. This is the image that we created in Paint, and we have managed to attach it to our white background that we created in the previous video. If you want to create more more objects or sprites, all you have to do is create a new sprite for a new image. For example, make it a rectangle that is that you can make as wide and as high as our circle. If you want to. If you want to create another image, all you have to do is create a new texture region and give it a path file to the name of the actual image. And then you need to find out the position of where you can place it. For example, if you if you were to create, let's just say, our rectangle or something over here and place it at the same position as our circle, it would overwrite it. So you have to keep track of how big your image is. For example, that circle is 64 by 64, so if you wanted to create a rectangle right to the right of it, you would have to place it at 65. If you were to, to create it right below of it, you would have to place it at 65 on the y coordinate. And then go on and on. So, that was all for this video. We managed to create a sprite and draw it to the screen. In the next video, we are going to create more images and sprites, as well as making them move. That was all for this video. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.